Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 26. Some questions now. These questions are all uh, NCRD questions I have taken. Choose the correct answer. A thermodynamic state function is a quantity used to determine heat change. This value is independent of path. Used to determine the pressure volume work or whose value depends only on temperature. See, the thermodynamic state is not only used to determine heat change, there are other things also, right? But this is sure it is independent of path. It is not only used to determine pressure volume work, it is not something whose value depends only on temperature. This is the only correct option, that is, it is independent of path. For a process under adiabatic condition, which of these is true? As I told, adiabatic condition that is, heat flow is zero. If there is no heat flow, heat flow is zero, that means Q is zero. The enthalpy of all the elements in their states are unity, zero, less than zero, and different for each element. So if you see the standard states, the enthalpy is always The internal energy change for the combustion of methane is minus x kilojoule per mole. The value of delta H is what? See, it talks about methane. Burn this methane, you get CO2 plus H2. Balance this equation. This is the equation. The CH4 is gas, oxygen is gas, carbon dioxide is gas, and this is liquid. So, how many? Uh, uh, the formula we have is delta H is nothing but delta U plus delta N of gas RT. This is the formula we know. If delta U is minus X negative plus Delta N, what is the value of delta N here? Here it was the product is 1, the reactant is 3 gas, right? So delta N is 1 minus 3, that is minus 2. So minus 2 into R is some positive value and T is also some positive value. So this guy is negative, this guy is negative. The whole thing is negative. Delta H is negative. And delta H is less than delta U because in this value we are subtracting. So it is less than delta U. So enthalpy change is less than internal energy change. It is like this. The enthalpy of combustion of methane, graphite, and dihydrogen at 298 Kelvin are 890.3 kilojoule per mole. This kilojoule per mole and this kilojoule per mole. This is the enthalpy of combustion of methane, graphite, and dihydrogen. The enthalpy of formation of CH4 will be what? So I have the enthalpy of methane, graphite, and dihydrogen. Combustion is given. I have to find the enthalpy of formation of CH4. See, the enthalpy of combustion for methane is given. So, let's write that first. That is CH4 plus O2 is CO2 plus H2. Let's balance this. We have 2 here. And then we have 2 here. And here this guy is given. Delta H is minus 890.3. Second is graphite. C plus O2 is CO2. Here delta H is given as minus 3. 93.5. Then we have dihydrogen. H2 plus O2 is H2. Here delta H is nothing but minus 285.5. Correct. Now I have to form a reaction of formation of CH4 that is C plus uh, 2H2 with CH4. For this reaction, I have to find delta H. Right? 
So to get this, I have to flip this first. Flip this first, right? So I'll multiply this into minus one. Flip this. So if you flip this, you get CO2 plus 2H2O gives CH4 plus 2O2 and delta H for this will be flip this, this becomes 890.3. Remove the minus sign. This is done. Though this part I have got. Now I have to find this carbon, I have to put the carbon here. So I'll take this reaction as it is. So I'll say C plus O2 is CO2. Delta H was minus 393.5. This part carbon also I have got. I need two hydrogen here. This has one hydrogen. I'll multiply the whole thing with two. So I'll get two hydrogen plus oxygen gives 2H2 and delta H will come out to be multiply this by 2 that is uh, 1, 7, 5 minus kilojoule. All in kilojoule. So if you add these three, what you will see is CO2, CO2 cancel, water, water cancel, two water molecules, two oxygen molecules will cancel. What I am left is C plus 2H2CH4 and that's what you want. That means you just add these three and you get the answer. So you add these three, it is 890.3 plus minus 393.5 plus minus 571 on this. So if you add this thing, you get You come out to be, if you add this, you get plus 74.8. Right? 538. Sorry, minus 74.8. Yeah, minus, this is more, minus 74.8. And that is, this that is my answer. A reaction A plus B gives C plus D plus heat is found to have positive entropy change. The action will be, you have to pick one. So in this case, it says that delta S is positive. Also since I'm getting the heat, so delta H is negative, right? Correct, because it's giving out heat, delta H is negative. Now the question is, the reaction is possible at which temperature. So if you see delta G was nothing but delta H minus T delta S. This is negative minus T into some positive number X. So the whole thing will always be negative. That means this reaction is possible at all temperature. Correct? See delta H is negative, delta S is positive. So the whole thing is always negative with respect of temperature. So this is always positive. In a process, 701 joule of heat is absorbed by a system. 394 joule is work is done by the system. What is the change in internal energy? Very simple. Change in internal energy is Q plus W. What is Q? Heat is absorbed by the system. So this is the positive. W, work is done by the system. So it will be negative. Right? Because work is done by system, system becomes weak, it is negative. It is absorbed by system, system becomes strong. So my delta U will be 701 minus 394 Joule. And this is 307. Thus you can understand the sign convention here. Understand why Q is positive and why W is negative. The reaction of cyanamide and H2CN, the dioxide was carried out in a bomb calorimeter. Bomb calorimeter, that means my delta V is zero, constant volume actually. Delta U was found to be minus 742.7 .7 kilojoule per mole at 298 Kelvin. Calculate the enthalpy change of this reaction. See, delta U is given, I have to find delta H. So delta H is nothing but delta U plus delta N of gas RT. 
T I know or I know delta N of gas I have to find. For that, let me write a chemical reaction. The reaction actually it is given, it should be given in H2CN solid plus 3 by 2 oxygen gives N2 plus CO2 plus water. And water is liquid, CO2 is gas, N2 is gas, oxygen is gas, which is solid. So, what is the change in delta N? 1 plus 1 here, 2, 2 minus, and here it is 3 by 2. That is 0.5. Delta n is 0.5. So let's find delta H is delta U I have been given minus 742.7 .7 kilojoule per mole plus delta n is 0.5 into R. R is 8.314 into 3 power minus 3 because we are dealing with kilojoule now. So kilojoule per mole per Kelvin into T. T is 298 K K cancel and this mole this 0.5 is 0.5 mole 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 cancel right so this comes out to be minus 742.7 plus 1.239 kilojoule and that is minus 741.5 Correct? This is kilojoule. Calculate the number of kilojoule of heat necessary to raise the temperature of 60 gram of aluminium from 35 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Molar heat capacity of aluminium is 24 joule per mole per day. See, it's a very simple formula actually. Since it's the molar heat capacity given, I know that. Uh, Q was nothing but molar heat capacity into number of moles into delta T. This guy is given number of moles of aluminium we can find from 60 grams of aluminium and delta T is also given. So we can find heat necessary, very easy. So let's find the number of moles first. So aluminium is 27 gram per mole right so we have 60 gram so 27 gram is equal to 1 mole so 60 gram will be how much 60 by 27 mole and that is nothing but 2.22 mole this much mole of aluminium I have delta T is 55 minus 35 that is 20 you can take in Kelvin it will be Kelvin only even if you convert this to Kelvin you find delta T it will be come out to be 20 Kelvin only so Q, I use the same formula, molar spe uh, specific uh, heat capacity into N into delta T. The molar heat capacity is 24 joule per mole per Kelvin into N is 2.22 mole into delta T is 20 Kelvin. K cancel, mole mole cancel. So what I am left is 1.3. 1065.6 joule. Let's convert to kilojoule. 1.067 kilojoule. And that is my answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.